America always does the right thing. And the right thing is to honor what our founders put in place for how we resolve the differences and the conflicts that we all have with our government. They're protected in the Constitution of the United States and the Bill of Rights. We need to move forward to the next administration, accept the results, uh, let the uh, debate on the Electoral College happen in a peaceful manner, and uh, accept the results and move on. And and we also spoke to Representative Bruce Westerman, who was inside the building when tear gas was deployed on protesters. He says that he does believe in freedom of speech, but he does not support violence or damage to property. Here's a photo of a protester. This is breaking into House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office. This is going viral on the Internet tonight. You may have seen this. According to The New York Times, this man is from Northwest Arkansas. Let's bring in 4029's Emma Clareberg. She's joining us live now with more. According to New York Times reporter Matthew Rosenberg, this is 60-year-old Richard Barnett from Gravit, Arkansas. You can see the man sitting at House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's desk with his feet up on the table after storming into the Capitol with a group of protesters today. Rosenberg says he spoke with Barnett after the photo was taken. You can see in these tweets from the reporter, Barnett says he left a quarter on Pelosi's desk and took a personalized envelope from her office. According to Rosenberg's tweet, Barnett claimed he was, quote, politely knocking on the door of Pelosi's office, but was pushed in by other protesters. Representative Steve Womack tweeted about Barnett, saying that he was sickened by his actions and that Barnett is a, quote, embarrassment to the people of the 3rd District and does not reflect their values. Another lawmaker, Arkansas Senator Jim Hendren, also tweeted about Barnett, saying, quote, I was born, raised, and live in Gravit, Arkansas. Don't know this guy, but he needs to go to jail. Barnett was not the only protester who broke into Pelosi's office today. There were several others. 4029 News called a phone number that's believed to be Barnett's phone number, but we were not able to get through to him. Reporting live, Emma Claybrook, 4029 News.